Yo, what is up, tutors? It's your boy, Richard Kitchen Master, the six-figure tutor, uh, coming at you guys with another YouTube video. And this is going to be a video I'm super, super passionate about because I see so many tutors um, resist what I'm about to tell you guys. So I think it's going to be really important. Um, you know, however long the video is, I think it's going to be worth your time. So make sure you sit through the whole thing um, and try to implement. I always try to make these videos actionable so you guys actually do something to help you make more money in your tutoring business, right? Because what I do is I help tutors start, grow, and scale a crazy successful tutoring business. So with that being said, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, if you guys are new to the channel, I appreciate you guys. Hit that subscribe button and let's go. All right, guys, check it out. So um, I titled this, if you're not the cheapest tutor in town, then be the most expensive, right? So let me explain. So there is no strategic advantage to being second cheapest. If your strategy in your tutoring business is not to be the cheapest tutor in town and try to you know, win people's business by being the cheapest, there's absolutely no benefit or strategic advantage to being second cheapest. So I want you to think about that. What does that mean? What that means is if there's no strategic advantage to being second cheapest, then you might as well be the most expensive, right? Because there is no benefit unless you're the cheapest, right? So if, if you're not the cheapest in town, then you need to increase your prices. So check it out. So what does this mean for you? So unless your strategy is to be the cheapest tutor in town, which is a strategy that I personally don't recommend, and I'm gonna talk about why um, in just a little bit here. You need to increase your prices. Trust me, this is a strategy. There's, there's businesses all around the world that, that, that really work on this model of just being the cheapest, right? But the issue is, is if you're the cheapest tutor in town and then someone else comes in and undercuts you and then you undercut them, it's just a race to the bottom, right? And how is that gonna serve you, serve your customers, if you're not charging enough money to take care of them, and if you're not charging enough money where it's worth it to you, where you can actually have the lifestyle and the income that you want for your family, for you to be able to go on the next vacation, right? If you're not charging enough, you can't serve yourself, you can't serve your family, your friends, and you definitely can't serve your customers, right? And I get it, there's so many tutors out there that feel, you know, like, they, they feel bad for people, like I get it, they can't afford it, or maybe you're too expensive, but at the end of the day, like you gotta look out for you and your business, and you also gotta worry about the customers at the same time. I mean, you know, later, you know, you can have all different types of strategies like group sessions and stuff for some of the lower income people, but you can't give your best premium service in, if, you're, if you're super cheap, right? So, um, now, when you do this, like you might even be watching this with a gut feeling, thinking like, I can't raise my prices. I already struggle closing students or getting new clients at the price I'm already at. But I promise you, like it's gonna be, you have to fight that resistance in your stomach that's telling you like, don't do it, it's scary, it's scary to raise. I can't ask people for more money, right? You have to fight that. Let me tell you a story. When I first started tutoring, um, I was charging 15 bucks an hour, right? And I remember like I thought I was so cool because like uh, like all my friends had these minimum wage jobs and back then minimum wage was pretty pretty low, it was like eight bucks or something per hour. Um, and I remember thinking like I'm, I'm doing fantastic, I'm double minimum wage and it's my own little business. Um, and I would you know, meet people at Starbucks and stuff. But then what happened was my schedule got booked and I got capped, I couldn't do anymore, and it still wasn't really enough money for me to grow and, and do the things I need to do to really have a sustainable business that's gonna change my life, my lifestyle, and what I can do and give me freedom and flexibility, right? So, uh, my first idea was, okay, well I charge 15 bucks an hour, so what if I increase it to 20? I started doing the math, I'm like, man, I would make you know X amount more per month, I'm like, that's, that's crazy, but no one's gonna pay me 20 bucks an hour for my knowledge, I was like, shoot. But I, I fought the urge, I tried it, and 
nothing changed. People were paying me 20 bucks an hour. I was like, wow, this is crazy. It was just a mindset shift, right? So I remember I hired my very first mentor. Um, and at this time, I was already kind of doing some packages and stuff. And um, my packages were, I was, I was doing, um, I was charging like eight hours for for 250 bucks or something like that. And I was like, dang, that's amazing. You know, four students is a thousand dollars. It's incredible. The first thing, the very first thing she told me to do on day one of mentorship was increase my price. And I was like, no way, there's no way. I was resisting her and I was fighting her. She's like, she's like, you hired me for a reason. Just trust me on this and increase uh, your prices. So I went from 250 to 300 uh, for eight hours of tutoring people bought so I was like dang what if I do that again so then I charged 350 for eight hours and people still buy and I'm like that's freaking crazy people will still buy if they see the value in what you're offering so trust me I get that feeling but fight it and uh, embrace it because it's gonna help you know better your life and it's gonna help your students in the long run so fight the urge so what are the benefits of raising your prices, right? So one, you appear to be a more premium service, right? They can hire either, you know, Joe down the street who's like a college student for 15 bucks an hour, or they can hire a professional tutor that you are or your team, right? You're gonna have a team of professional tutors one day if you wanna grow and scale your business. Um, and you wanna appear premium. It's the same thing, like there's two cars, right? Let's say you have a Honda Civic, right? And you have a Lamborghini. They both do the same freaking thing. You get in the car, it moves you from where you're at now to where you want to go, and you get out of the car. What's the difference? There is no difference in the actual benefit of it, um, minus you know maybe the sporty look or, or whatever that may be, but there's no true benefit. I mean, the, the reason you get a car is to go from point A to point B, right? But some people are gonna spend significantly more money on the luxury premium brand because it makes them feel good, you know, it gives them some satisfaction of spending money. There's people out there that are willing to spend money on their child's education, their child's future on a quality tutor like you, okay? Two is you're gonna be taken more seriously, right? If you say, hey, I'm a $10 per, per hour tutor or I'm a $15 per hour uh, tutor, right? You're, gonna, you're not gonna be taken as seriously because you're gonna be perceived as cheap right? You don't want to be perceived as cheap, right? It's kind of like the Walmart and Target, right? Everyone knows that Walmart is kind of like the lower end and Target is kind of like the higher end. They sell some of the similar stuff, but Target is more, um, they're just taken more seriously. There's a different crowd of people that shop at those two different stores, right? Um, and I'll let you guys use your imagination for that, right? So um, you're gonna get more committed students because they're committing, they're more invested into your service, so they're going to be more committed, less cancels, right? They're gonna take your time more seriously. Going on to the next thing, they're gonna get better results because they're more committed. So they're gonna do the work outside of tutoring because they know what they're paying you, right? They're gonna to listen to you. They're gonna do the stuff that you ask them to do and they're gonna pay attention to you more. On top of that, if they're paying more, you're gonna get better clients, people that don't complain as much, right? People that aren't like hard to work with. They're gonna be much, much easier. It's gonna be a much smoother transaction with you and the client if you charge more. I promise you that. Um, you're gonna make more money by doing either the same or less amount of work, which is amazing, right? Because I teach people how to build real tutoring businesses, right? Um, and so you wanna have a level of freedom and a level of income, and you want both of those things, right? If you're charging so little and like you have to work extra hours to try to make more money, it's not gonna serve you, right? So, um, so more money and less work. So there's a ton of benefits to raising your prices. I know it's scary, but trust me, let's, let's just do it. Just trust me, just listen to me, right? So if you don't have confidence yet, this is what I recommend. I totally get it, so I wanted to give you guys an alternative. So if you don't have any students yet or you have just a couple students, get five students at a cheaper price, okay? At a cheaper price, so you have some income coming in, you're confident, you got those students, they're paying you consistently. So if you happen to miss a student or two, it's not gonna affect you as much because you already have some, right? Then once you have five students at your cheaper price, 
increase your price without hesitation. Decide today what price you want to increase it to, commit to it, get your first five students or you know whatever, the next couple students, and then increase it like a robot. Like once you hit five, boom, it's increased, okay? Don't second guess it, don't think about it. Decide what you want to increase your price to and increase it, right? Maybe you'll be surprised. So uh, let's look at the math. So I just did a couple basic examples. You guys are all smart people, but I, I use 10 um, just because it's, it's easy math, right? So if you have 10 students at 250 a month, right? That's 2,500 bucks. Cool, not too bad. But what if you had the same 10 students, but you're charging just $100 more a month, 350 a month, right? You have just increased your revenue and profitability by $1,000 by literally doing nothing. So there's two things here. Either with the same 10 students, you can make an extra thousand by doing no extra work, or you can have less students and still make the 2,500. It's like seven point something. Um, so like a roughly seven students and you can make the same 2,500. So less work, same money, right? I mean, it, it should be clicking, it should be making sense. Or if you're really like, you know what, I'm a, I'm a freaking, I'm a gangsta tutor, then uh, 10 students at $600 a month, that's $6,000, right? I mean, it's, it's insane what you can do. Too many people are not charging enough because they're scared, they think people won't, won't, won't do it, right? They, 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 they don't have the confidence in their ability to sell the tutoring, and this is where you need to increase your skills, how you talk to people, how you talk on the phone, how you close people, how you get clients, how you lead gen, right? You need to understand all these things to really take your business to the next level. But if you look at the simple math, I mean, it's a no-brainer. 10 students at 600 bucks a month is $6,000. How would your life change if you were making $6,000 a month? Would you be able to maybe take care of some of the debt you might have, right? Would you be able to go on an extra couple vacations per year with your family? You know, go on a couple extra date nights or do whatever you want to do with that money. Help your mom, help your family, right? The math works out. So, you know, it's up to you guys. If you look at the math, like I said, you guys are pretty smart people. If you guys are tutors, um, I definitely would uh, look into increasing your rates. So um, check it out, guys. Uh, so I still have my 30 days of content on sale right now. Uh, there's a link in the description. So instead of like wasting time posting on your social medias and doing that whole thing or outsourcing it, which can cost hundreds of dollars, um, why don't you just leverage me and my team um, and actually get the next 30 days of content done for you? Um, so you can actually focus on things like tutoring, growing your business, increasing your prices, stuff like that. So with that being said, guys, the link is just going to be in the description. Click it. It's just www.tutoringcontent.com. Check that out. It's on sale right now. I'm actually going to be increasing the price of that pretty soon um, because I've had a ton of people um, invest in it and they love it so far. So I'm actually going to be increasing the price of that myself. So cool, guys. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video. I appreciate you guys. If you made it to the end, you guys are all freaking fantastic. You guys are rock stars hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video peace